Okay, so we're trying to fix a problem that we had in our mid bunk. Uh, they have a outlet for the AC here, but they really don't have any ducting. Um, there is a loft right above here, so there's really nothing that connects the actual ducting to the ceiling of the RV to this output here. There's just a, uh, an empty box kind of up there that the air is just supposed to kind of trickle into and maybe fall down here. So we thought about a couple things. Um, one of the things you could do is pull out uh, some of the uh, cabinetry work up there and actually run a small duct and maybe an inline duct in there. We really wanted to try to avoid messing with that area as much as possible. So this was kind of a quick and dirty way to fix that. Right here, up in here, I've installed just a little computer fan, a uh, little box fan. It's like 80 millimeters. Um, to just to see if we could suck some of that cold air down. So what we're gonna to try to do is just show you kind of what the airflow is with and without the fan. So we'll go ahead and let's turn on the ACs. All right, now with the AC on, you can kind of tell that you've got a little bit of airflow here, but it's really just whatever kind of tumbles down into that empty box above here and into this open thing. So when I turn on this fan, you'll see that you get a lot more airflow and it really starts to suck down that cold air from the, the top ducting in the RV. Makes a huge difference in here. Uh, it's kind of a small fan. It doesn't have a lot of um, airflow, um, but I was kind of looking for something small that would just kind of fit through this hole from the bottom. Uh, if that's not enough for you, you can always get a little bit bigger fan. But I think it's kind of solved our problem. Uh, it used to be kind of a sauna in here because it just, even with the ACs running full blast, this room was not giving much. Okay. All right, so as, as far as the install goes, um, right now I'm just kind of doing it quick and dirty. Uh, I'm just going to run the, the cable on the outside from the um, little light puck that I took down um, and uh, just run it up in here. Uh, eventually I will go back and um, try to clear a path from this little hole to, to this little hole so it'll make it look nice and clean. But really all it is is just running a little jumper from your 12 volt um, light, a uh, little LED light, to this little 12 volt fan. Uh, it's just your basic box fan that you'll find in a computer. Uh, like I say right now, I'm just going to run the wires on the outside of the wall and just put it up in there. Uh, and we'll uh, make sure that that lasts and, and it, it's going to be enough for us before I start kind of clearing out a path and trying to get these cables to run up, up under the wall. Or we could get just some of the conduit that you see for TVs and just put something right there uh, to kind of clean it up a little bit. But that's really it. Pretty easy. Um, little 12 volt fan, uh, just some little 16, 18 gauge wire jumper here, a couple wire nuts. You're ready to go. All right, so this is kind of just a, a finished product with everything pushed back up in here. As you can see, you can see the wire here. This is just kind of the quick and dirty way to do it. The one thing that I did want to mention with this setup, the fan is only going to work when you have the lights turned on. Uh, it goes on and off with the lights. Now for us, that works. Uh, we really don't run the AC very much in the middle of the night. So, you know, when the girls are in this room and they need AC, then the lights are usually on. So it might work for us. Uh, for somebody else, you know, you'd have to come in somewhere before this switch um, or off the main junction box and put another switch in for this light. Not really what we wanted to do or what we needed. 